Hey, uh, the performers asked me to come see them here. I helped them out with something up in Van Horn. All right, I'll let them know you're in. Curtain's just about to come up, so why don't you take a seat, then come back and see me after the show? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Ooh, I love it. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. Ooh, this is great. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing Let's like see it. it anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, do more. I have determined the ticket price should be very low, and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it bring is it. blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I met these odd fellows in a tavern in some godforsaken place, entertaining cretins. They are quite a capricious bunch, presenting Miss Marjorie and her medical miracles. Magnificent, I'm a master of 
Telekinesis, telepathy, yes, and escapology. And now, for my next feat, I will relieve Miss Marjorie of her frock. Did you see this? Robio! What are you doing, you nasty little pervert? What? Damn it! We were gonna give them a show! Not like that, you're not! I give up. <laughs> Amateurs. Don't oh. 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 follow your brother. Oh. Well, that's our show. <laughs> Thanks, Sandini. Oh. 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 Well, tiny people and tiny-headed giants, curious things. They are a delight and can make you money. So, before you snuff out that oddly-shaped baby, bring them to me! Amazing! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Give us a read. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him, I bathed him, I shaved him from head to toe. Let's see it. He is truly a wonder to behold, presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement, but none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable oh, distance oh. across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant Orient. I will catch the bullet in oh. my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalikova off my head. This is Bring it! Off my head. Here we go. Careful. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Bring it! Come on! That bit always scares me. <laughs> now. Observe as I 
the great Benjamin Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. Do something better. What is he doing? Christ. Let's do that again. Hmm? Alright. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang oh, boulder days. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm ah. to watch the show. And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival this rules. What they call entertainment These in this town. are 100 percent real. Whoa. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to get a bullet in my teeth. Is no one man enough? We want more! Come on, someone, stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust Woo! you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> Take aim. <laughs> and fly. Gentlemen, death is just an illusion, after all. How about that? Yes! You stink! Truly a feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He yep, certainly yep. does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She Let's see breathes fire! Yes! She does! And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest, she does emit fire from almost Give every orifice more. in her body. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino! Jeez. 
Wonderful! Oh, incredible! It's still hot in here, huh? <laughs> yeah. Incredible! Bravo! Though I must warn you, court her at your peril. She'll not nurse babies, she'd turn them into bacon! <laughs> Thank you! This is awesome. Thank you! He liked that, Joe. Yes. I discovered this next woman in the kingdom of Poland where she sang by the roadside, subsisting on coppers tossed at her feet. Miss Robin Koninsky! This is the best. for joining us today. This here was a new song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone. Yeah! This new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from Blackwater to Valentine to San Denis, and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are, somebody is looking for you. A wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! 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 Hello. I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but he's mine all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Well, Every right. single morning you will hear me yell. He central picks me up along the line. They connect me with my honey and I ring the bell. Yeah, and this baby. is what I say to baby mine. From Blackwater calling. Oh, Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now he's headed out of town to his address. The 
She is a siren singing from the rocks as men bash into them to their doom. Thank you for joining me for tonight's entertainment. I hope it has delayed for at least a moment the crushing and remorseless misery of this mortal coil. Good night. Dream well. Yeah. Do it. And come back soon. Why, something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this for dancing girls. <laughs> <laughs> 